Now today we're going to patch up some of these concrete step units. One I put the cement on and I paint it, and the second one I just used Portland cement. But these units, what they do is they come with a crane and they set it in here against the building and a lot of times they don't even need footers. But after 20-25 years they start to pit up and break up and this is just a way to preserve them or you got to get new ones. So I'm going to show you the way I do it. Okay, we're looking at these steps. Typical concrete steps that you buy. They're here about 30 years. You can see them all pitted and everything. Someone painted them, and like every a lot of things, it paint and everything lasts so long. So what the customer is going to do is they're going to power wash them. We're going to patch them up, and then we're going to paint them. Today we're going to redo these steps. They're all pitted up. They're the kind they come and they just set them in. And after 25 years in our area, they start to disintegrate. So all we're going to do is we're going to use some. Uh, Wrap it set. I'm going to plug all the, the holes that developed and then we're just going to paint it after that. So I'm going to show you how I do, did it. Now the customer already power washed it, but if you don't power wash it, you get yourself a nice little steel brush and go over it and get all the film off like this. Yeah, we're also going to take these pins out and let the cement doll go down under here. Because the ceiling, uh, railing is loose. Is loose. See it? So we're going over with the wire brush. So I'm using this rapid set cement towel, multi-purpose uh, repair mortar. So I'm just going to mix up what I'm going to use real quick. And that's it. And I'm just going to add my water and mix it up. Only what I'm going to use in a real short period of time. Then I'm going to start up at the top. I got my little sprayer. Like I said, you got to kind of wet it first. It has to be wet. Just like that. I'm going to wet it all in here. Not wet, wet. It's pretty damp. Just like that. And then we're going to get our rapid set. Put it in here. I want it to get down in there around that railing. Gonna get my sponge float and start rubbing it in. Just like that. Fills in all those holes. Make sure we get it in there good. So just like if you're grouting, pile, same thing. What I'm doing is filling in all the holes. So when you paint it, you're not going to see all those holes. Just fill it in, just like that. We're doing the steps. Kind of want to smooth it out even with the steps. Like that. So if we have to go over it again, gotta go over it again. But this little uh, sponge float kind of flattens everything out. We'll hide all that damage the weather did over all these years. So we just keep doing this and we'll get it. And I wet it down a little bit, make sure it's Put them damp and I just keep continuing. Then we'll go a little farther and keep going back over it. We just get a sponge, 
which I take out of old couches, a flat one. So I'm just going to go over it. That's all. That'll smooth that all out. If we wanted to get crazy and put another coat on it, we could. But I'm not too worried about it. And that sponge will fill in all them little spots like that. And still continuing on. Doing all the steps first. Then we do the sides, we could come back over the top of it and see any bad spots. Keep looking above you, like that. I'm doing the sides here, going over, I get all the big spots first. I want to make sure all the big spots are filled in. And then at the end, I could go over it again. So when they paint it, I'm trying to hide all these potholes unless the paint covers it and that's a different story what I'm doing is filling in all them holes so we got these little pot marks just put a little bit on a sponge rub it in all we're doing is filling them in that's all the paint's going to cover everything else see that fill them all in so now I all got it all cemented in and I could go over it again if I wanted to keep going over it to make it perfect. But it's good enough and we're going to paint it next. Alright, we have uh, the paint guy coming now. Okay. This is the paint you ordered, Mr. Haddock. I okay. got to go. I got other customers to go to. Thank you on this, Mike. You have a good day, sir. Okay. Okay, now we're going to paint this. Uh, we got a non-skid paint. It's like got sand in it. And we're going to paint it. We waited like three weeks to do it. You got to read the directions on the can. So we got our non-skid paint. Yeah, we're gonna start painting. <clears throat> I'm gonna talk about that job a little bit. Any time in our area you have a set of concrete steps, 25, 30 years later, they're starting to turn to rubble already. We got the salt, we got the snow, they're chipping the ice on it, snow shovels. It kills concrete in our area. So you got two choices. Either patch it up and paint it, or patch it up or put cement on it, or buy new ones. So you could use regular cement, regular Portland, and do it, but then you got to go over it the next day. You got to wait for it to dry. With the cement doll, it's boom, 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 one, two, three. Now, cement doll by itself won't last. You have to put a covering over it. It's like putting putting a covering over a couch or something. Otherwise, you're, it's going to get bad. Uh, sponge floats. When I put it down, a sponge float. They're spongy, and they're flat. So when you're rubbing it on. It's filling in all the holes and you're not going higher than you want to go. All you're doing with that cement doll is flattening all the holes out. And sometimes if you want to go over it, you could. When you, when you start to do a little project like that, don't go to the part that's going to show. Go to a part that's not going to show and get used to doing it. Or go to the site and get an old piece of block and practice first. Uh, a lot of people go right to that one spot and then they mess it all up. So, do, so don't do that. I don't pick out colors, they picked out the color. And this next video I'm going to do is another set of steps. And I'm patching it with the cement doll and then I just paint it with Portland. So now I'm going to show you that. Today I just patched up a set of concrete steps. Just painted them with Portland. Today we have a little patch up fix up job. And let me see if I get in the sun, you see this? Got these little spots here. Like this one, this one underneath in here and what we're going to do is patch these up first mix a little rapid set and then we're going to paint it with portland so i got my little sprayer with water and i'm just going to spray everything i'm going to do and let that kind of sink in and then i'm going to mix, mix my rapid set and if i have to water it again i will now here's what I'm going to use for the patches. It's Rapid Set Cement Doll. 
doesn't have any sand in it. It's just straight. Back over here. Get those little spots. get a water a sponge or wring it out good and then just go over the top of it just like that see that it blends all in fills the hole up and over here sponge it in sponge it in all right we go over here same thing just get the sponge go over the top of it Fills all the holes in, makes it look like the rest. I'll make a project out of it, just do it. See that in the corner? Run the sponge over it. Look, it matches right in there. Match it right in. Perfect. Same thing on the bottom of the steps. Just get the sponge and brush it in there. Now we're going to let that sit. Now I come back and I look at the steps and all that cement doll is dry. So now I'm going to go mix up some Portland and paint the steps. I'm going to mix the paint for the steps. I'm going to use some of this. It's like a sealing bonding agent. Very few times I use a bonding agent. But for something that goes over the top of something, that's when I use it. Not too much, not too little. You gotta kinda feel it. See, so I mix that in with the water. So I know I got that going. Now I'm just gonna take my Portland cement, like this. So we're gonna use pure Portland cement. Nothing else. You don't need nothing else. That's it. Let you do all the steps. Right there. That's it. Pure Portland cement in this, this mixture. If you use too much glue, you'll see it. If you use too little, it'll fall off. But for the most part, all we're doing is mixing it into a paint. I'm going to paint right out of this thing here. See, it's getting there. Too stiff. I want it just right. What I suggest is you go out and test. So that's it. That's my paint. This is my paintbrush. That's going to tell me how, how good it is. See that? Maybe a little more. That's about the consistency I want. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet everything. Remember I told you if you want it to stick, this is a case where if you want it to stick, you got to wet it first. You got to let that water sink into that concrete. Don't forget, concrete is not waterproof. Don't let them ever tell you that. Mortar cement is not waterproof. Portland isn't waterproof. Got to get this in there and let that sink in there. Just going to get it now and paint it on. That's it. Not going to make a big deal over it. All we're doing is painting on Portland. That's all we're doing. That's it. It's still wet. I want to paint over the wetness. 
right over the wetness. Just like that. That's it. Just keep brushing it on. Don't play with it. Just get it in there. Sun's out and So I'll talk about that a little bit. When you're painting with Portland, uh, these concrete companies that you buy to Portland off, they come from different sections of the country, wherever they're selling the clothes and whoever they have a deal with. And some of the Portland dries real white, some of it dries real dark, and some of it will kind of stain and the water will hit it and it'll bleach and one, one part will be white and one part will be dark. It all depends on what kind of Portland you get. but. It's another alternative for a cheap fix, and that's what these are, is cheap fixes. In the old days, they'd build your steps out of granite or a hard stone, now they use concrete. The truth is, in our area, concrete's garbage. It lasts just as long as a roof on a house, which is 25 to 35 years, and it's turned into rubble already. It's just because of our weather. We got the ice storms, they're out there chipping it with ice picks, they're throwing the salt on it, they're snow shovels. It kills it. Concrete, concrete gets killed in our area. But a cheap fix is a cheap fix. It's better than buying a set of brand new steps. So I hope these videos help. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm Mike Haddock and that's it.